All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we're gonna be doing a quick global preview of the upcoming LR AGL, Spirit Bomb Absorbed Super Saiyan Goku, also known as Bomku or Gumku for reasons that will become very apparent, very clear in just a second. Now, I have long said that I feel like his banner is gonna be really, really bad at least based on what JP got, but this entire time, I've also said that him as an individual unit is absolutely amazing. And uh, for those of you that are a little bit on the fence, a little bit unsure about whether or not you want to summon for him, you want to spend stones on his banner, hopefully this video will help you make that decision. All right, so first things first, let's go over his details for anybody that is not aware of what they are. And if you already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the actual gameplay. Okay, so starting with his leader skill, he is a Super Saiyan's lead, um, giving them key plus four, HP, attack and events plus 130%. His super attack, the 12 key, is uh, energy meteor which greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and the 18 key is super bomb a spirit bomb super saiyan my bad and it's mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense and seals the enemy's super attack his passive is attack and defense plus 59 percent randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres plus an additional key plus two per rainbow key sphere obtained and attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack plus 7% per Super Saiyan's category ally, self excluded, attacking in the same turn. So, what this means basically is that he's gonna get a lot of key, and he also gets a ton of attack when you're running a Super Saiyan's team. His links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, uh, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and his categories are Goku's Family movie heroes, pure saiyans, and super saiyans. So those are the details for the Goku. Let's jump into the gameplay, see what this guy is all about. Of course, we are running a full super saiyans team. And uh, we're starting off with a double support rotation here. He's starting with 134,844 defense. So if you guys were worried about him defensively, you don't have to because this is without orbs, and keep in mind, he does get an additional 7% defense with every key sphere obtained. So let's uh, let's do this, guys. So we're gonna put Trunks here first for that additional attack when he supers, and we're gonna give him just, uh, why don't go with like one orb here? And this is gonna be a ton of orbs for Goku right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus the additional um, key from the rainbow key sphere. So this should be a full 24 key super right there and uh, let's see what his defense is at with eight key spheres okay 169,000 defense nice 169,000 pretty good and uh, here we go guys let's see what this attack stat gets up to with eight key spheres with two 30 percent supports we're getting an additional 30 percent from this trunk super here and uh let's just see it guys let's see it Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I did not know we are going to start off this strong. Um, obviously, he hits hard. Obviously, he hits hard. I did not know we are going to start off like that, though. 5.2 mil for the first super, guys. 5.2 mil for the first super of the showcase. It could go higher because, like I said, he gets more key with every sphere. We only got 8. Imagine we get 10, 12... I don't know, even a full board. I don't think I brought the items actually for that, but you know what? There's no point in doing that because you guys are not really going to get that situation um, ever, really, like a full board of key spheres. But that being said, his damage output potential is just ridiculous. Of course, this is at rainbow status, so you got to keep that or take that into account. You're not going to have, or for most people at least, unless you're a truth or some other mega whale like um, Goresh or Nolar or something like that. You're most likely not going to have a rainbow LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku. But that being said, even with no dupes, he still hits super, super hard, my friends. I mean, if that is any indication of his damage, it could still go higher, man. It could still go higher. Okay, so now 
We are gonna do the same thing. Trunks in the back. We actually have some extra uh, attack from Lynx now with the LR Gogeta. And he actually links very well with the three year fusion LRs. So we're getting like 30% extra attack right there. Although we did lose a support. So we'll see what happens here. Um, Trunks only needs one. And then let's see how many we can get here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight again. Is that the best we can do? That looks like the best we can do. So we're gonna do eight again, just like last time. But uh, as you can see, the attack stat is already higher. And we're actually, gonna, we're actually gonna get to see if he can tank a little bit too. I mean, of course he can. We're gonna see how much damage he's gonna be tanking here. Okay, second super, over six million. Over six million. By the way, if you're wondering why his name is Gumku, that's exactly it, man. <laughs> the, the, I mean, it's, it's actually part of the super too, but the finish screen or the KO screen just has him with his like gums showing. They call him Gumku. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Not my favorite name, but it makes sense. You know, he definitely earned that nickname. So that's our second super. Six million, five million crit. What else can I say? What what more is there to say? I don't I don't really think there is anything else to say at this point. There really, really isn't, man. Okay, we're gonna save all these uh, tech spheres for Goku. We're gonna basically try to get as many of the same type spheres as possible, right? So that's a lot of spheres we can actually um, get to the next turn. Actually, no, we should we should um, leave this Goku alive. So yeah, we're gonna see even more damage in the next time because the next rotation we're about to get Trunks as well as a 40% support from the uh, Super Saiyan Gohan. So we haven't even seen the limits of his damage on this showcase. And I didn't bring like items or anything like that to show you guys the max possible damage because that would be with a full board, right? Um, I just don't see a point. Like we can, we can probably get him to over 10 million attack easy, I think. I think 10 million is in play, but it's just, you know, we don't have the items for that. Anyways, let's see what we can get here. All right, let's see what we can get here. So obviously I want Trunks to super first, but it might not be realistic here because Trunks might have to take a lot of orbs. Actually, no, um, if we give him these, then we can get how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, I think 11 is the most here. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna go with 11. Is that 11? That is 11. Okay, 11 orbs here. And then uh, I guess we just give whatever to this Gohan. Doesn't matter, man. Goku's dead. Goku's dead. I mean, actually, no, we have type disadvantage, so we might actually do a lot less damage. But I, I would be very shocked if the enemy Goku survived this, even with type disadvantage. Let's see it, though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's crazy. He's so insane. 7 million, of course, did not kill him. Um, a crit would have killed him for sure. A crit would have done it, but once again, type disadvantage, so the ultimate like final damage was not that impressive, but 7 million attack, guys. How many units can get to 7 million attack? Very few, very few. There's a few out there, of course. Um, you know, go Frieza. Um, I think Tech Broly can get there too. No, yeah, he can, he can, of course, with the active skill. Um, so yeah, there are units that can do this, but <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this guy definitely is up there for hardest hitting unit in the game. Uh, this is ridiculous, man. And he's doing it like nothing. Like for him, it's just easy. It's just chill, man. He's just casually throwing out five, six, seven million damage. And that's, that's kind of what he's known for, man. Just, just the crazy, crazy damage. I mean, 21% attack for every key sphere obtained is outrageous for an LR, a summonable LR with his stats, uh, 20,000 attack. And um, of course you do need to have a Super Saiyans team or at least, you know, multiple Super Saiyans units or allies on the team to really get the most out of him. But that being said, um, you know, why wouldn't you run him with a bunch of Super Saiyans? It just makes sense, right? And this team is awesome. So I love this unit, man. I really, really want him. I really, really want him. I know his banner sucks. I know I probably shouldn't spend too many stones, but I might end up going like a lot deeper than I should with the five year anniversary coming up because this unit is just 
Ah, oh, he's so dope. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's eight more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm gonna go with eight key spheres here, and of course a full 24 key super. So we're basically consistently gonna be getting at least the 18 key super, if not the 24 key super, just because he gets so much key, man. He just gets so much key. Okay, that's gonna hurt Trunks a bit. That's okay, no problem. Um, hopefully we can get a double super from Trunks. That'd be fantastic. Because then we can get double the additional attack. Come on. <sighs> Not this time. Okay, 5.5 mil this time. Just a chill pedestrian 5.5 mil. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's crazy. <laughs> this is such an insane unit. It really is. Um, like, these numbers are, are... I guess at this point, we're a little bit spoiled. So maybe some of you guys are like, eh, whatever. 5 million. It's whatever. But um, that is still in the top, like... 1-2% of units in this game, so I may say what you will, this guy hits hard, he also tanks really well, we haven't really seen much tanking at this point, um, we, we you know haven't had, really had a chance to see him tank any damage, but um, just given the amount of defense he has, he is going to be able to take some pretty good hits, man, he's not like an, um, you know, an insane tank or anything like that, he's not going to be tech Frieza or AGL Golden Frieza or anything like that. Um, not even close to that level actually, but that being said, he's still going to be a very, very respectable tank. He's still going to be able to take supers for, um, you know, not too much damage and oof, oof, oh, are we dead? We might be dead after this. Well, you know what? If we die, we die. All right. If we die, we die. It's meant to be. I kind of want to get, keep this video fairly short anyways. Um, oh, and actually, no, we're going to move on. Okay. I was going to say, I want to keep this video fairly short. So we're probably going to do one more attack and then end the video because there's no point in actually finishing this run because um, the whole point of this video, the whole purpose of the video is to show you guys what AGL Goku can do and I think you've seen what the AGL Gum Coup, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, um, Bomb Coup, so on and so forth can do and uh, that is a whole lot of damage man, a whole lot of damage. Okay, so I'm actually going to put him in the front here. I want to see how much, how much tanking he can do against the type advantaged, so type advantage against us, um, God Ku, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight orbs again. So it seems like we're basically getting eight orbs consistently. Like that's kind of the average, or maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. But from this video, the average is around eight or nine orbs. So there's eight orbs right there. Full 24 key super again, of course, and 150k defense. So we shouldn't be taking too much damage here. Um, Oh, actually, I probably should have put the... Ah, oh, this is my bad. Okay, I, sh I should have linked him with the, the Gogeta. But that's okay. Um, yeah, okay, so double digits. Double, triple digits. 4.6 mil right there. If we linked him with the Gogeta, it would have been probably around 5 mil again. So his minimum damage in this video is pretty much 5 million. Because I misplayed that last turn. But okay, there's an additional 2.6 mil right there. But of course, that's the 12 key super. So if you combine those, that's still around 7 million for this turn. <laughs> Um, and here's the super. Are we gonna die? He should be tanking okay, actually. 124k, you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. You guys know how hard this god Koo can hit, right? So, that considered, right, with that into, taking that into consideration, 124k is actually really, really good. That's actually some really solid tanking right there. Okay, anyways, that is pretty much gonna be today's preview, today's video. All I want to do is give you guys an idea of what the AGL um, Gumku can do. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be summoning for sure. I really, really want him. And uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'm actually curious to know. So make sure to let me know whether or not you plan to summon for him, whether or not um, you're going to be whaling for him or just spending a couple multis. My recommendation, as always, is to only do a couple multis because... We got the five-year anniversary coming. The banner is not good. Um, at least the JP banner wasn't good. I don't expect the global banner to be any better. I expect it to be the exact same banner, which means it's not going to be a good banner. It's not going to be a good banner. But that being said, uh, for me, he's too good to pass up. So I'm definitely going to do at least like 300 stones. Um, if you guys want to do a couple multis, I wouldn't blame you. But do keep in mind that the LR fusions, Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue, are around the corner. So... Uh, Make your decision with that in mind. Okay, so <laughs> I've spoken enough. That is that is going to do it for the video, guys. Um, 
One more attack, okay, one more attack before we go. So let's, uh, let Trunk super here. I think I'll give him one orb here. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that eight again? That's eight again. Okay, so okay, eight orbs again. Like I said, average seems to be about eight orbs in this video. And, uh, oh, we're gonna token attack with the Trunks, cool. <laughs> so we're extending this video a little bit just because I wanna see that one final attack from, oh, that's okay, from the, uh, LR Goku, but uh, I guess while this is going on, I'm gonna do my sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You're freaking amazing. You're awesome. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. Oh, rip. <laughs> Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.